Hello, John Hall here from Right Here Pens with another pen review. And what we're going to be looking at today is the Jonathan Brooks and Leonardo collaboration, the Supernova Bohemian Twilight. There we go. Now we're going to take a look at it in detail and we're even going to see how it writes, if I can find a piece of paper. There we go. Right then, here we go. Bohemian Twilight sounds like a bit of a mashup between Freddie Mercury and Nietzsche, and the result is, well, fascinating. So here we are, got a swirl of colours here. We've got browns, we've got very dark blacks, we've got sort of turquoises, blues, oranges. And it's quite an amazing looking pen. Look at the design. We've got three bands around the bottom of the cap, one of them broad. We have a typical Leonardo clip with a little roller there, a little wheel there to stop it damaging your shirt. The top of the pen is unadorned, it's just the resin, but the bottom tells you what number it is. And this is number 13 of the limited edition of 199. Lucky for someone possibly, who knows, there we go. Right, looking inside the pen. Well, there are some fairly obvious things straight away. One is quite a big step, actually, from the barrel to the section. You've got your screw shreds there as well. And there is an ink window. This was missing in early Leonardo pens, but the more recent ones all seem to be popping up with an ink window. So that's, that I would say is an improvement. It certainly makes the pen more usable. We always like to have a good look at the nib. So here we go, 14 carat, fine. Yeah, very nice indeed, very nice indeed. What I'd also like to draw your attention to is this elegantly sculpted feed. Look at that. That's absolutely glorious. So, a lovely pen. A lovely pen. And it's also a big pen, as I will show you. I have two pens to compare it with. There we go. Put it there so it doesn't roll away. This is my Homo sapiens itself. No small thing. Um, let's see what the weights feel like. Not a lot in it like that. Obviously the full details will be on the website. But as you can see, it's a substantial pen. I would say it's certainly broader than the Homo sapiens. Let's see what happens with the section, which I think might be Yes, little doubt the section is just that tiny bit broader than on the Homo sapiens. So, a big substantial pen, about as big as they come, unless you get to supersize Japanese pens. The other pen to, to compare it with, I think, is going to be the regular supernova. They've just brought these out because I was a week or so ago, and as you can see, the design are much the same. This is still a substantial pen, actually, but because it is a more ordinary resin, although still, I believe, Jonathan Brooks, I'm not sure about that, I need to check that. Um, it's a little bit shorter, but as you can see, it's got all of the main design features in its bigger brother, and it costs a great deal less. There we are. Right, so let's have a look at this. Let's see if we can find a nice piece of paper back here that's not been too badly used. We have a bottle here of Sailor's Old Gentle Ink. Oh dear, I should take the top off before. No, there we go, no problems. So this is a 14 carat nib, and I'm just going to do that thing you have to do with the old sailor ink. So just turn it upside down, there we go. 
Right. Okay, I'm going to sit down now and see if we can do a little bit of writing. There we are. I'm enjoying this. There's a nice bit of life to this nib actually. They do a flex version, this isn't a flex, but as you can see, it's sufficiently soft to give a little bit of line variation should you wish to have that. Um, really very nice indeed. The ink window as you can see will reveal how much ink you've got left when you're using it and overall a very beautiful very nice pen which I think on the whole justifies its price. Why do I think that? Well, the resin is unique because I've got to say, none of these come out the same. We're looking at this one now, there's a particular mix of colours. The basic colour palette will be the same in all of the other ones, but there will be no two that are quite the same. I think this is a nice pen in the hand. Feels good. What else do we think? It's got an excellent nib. I mean, you know, some, some people will use 18 carat, even 24 carat gold for their nibs. Um, 14, well, this is doing a good job. Well, the other thing I quite like about this pen, well, I like very much actually, it isn't unfussy. Straightforward, I suppose. Straightforward design. I like the straight lines. I like the angularity of this pen. And yeah, really very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Well, there we go. Bohemian Twilight. Let's go for it.